Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Cavassier's sign. For introduction, the Cavassier's law states that, in a jaundiced patient, the combination of a non-tender, distended gallbladder, and obstructive jaundice, is taken to indicate a non-calculus obstruction of the common bile duct. Which means it's probably not due to gallstones. Cavassier's sign is when there is a palpable, non-tender gallbladder in a patient with jaundice. It is commonly said to be a sign of obstruction to the biliary system by malignancy, although Cavassier himself did not specifically associate it with malignancy. The associated conditions are cholangiosarcoma, cancer of the head of the pancreas, or sometimes cholelithiasis, but it is uncommon. For its mechanism, chronic obstruction of the biliary system or gallbladder leads to higher biliary duct pressure over a long period of time, and does not provide the acute distension that usually causes inflammation and pain. Malignant causes of obstruction are more likely to provide chronic distension. For example, a cancer at the head of the pancreas causes sustained, unrelenting obstruction of bile flow, leading to distension of the gallbladder. Whereas a gallstone will tend to cause intermittent obstruction with some bile still passing around the stone. For its sign value, in detecting obstructed bile ducts, there is a sensitivity of 31%, specificity of 99%. In detecting malignant obstruction in patients with obstructive jaundice, sensitivity of 26 to 55 percent and specificity of 83 to 90 percent. More recently, a radiological study validated Cavassier's findings. MRCP was used to look at gallbladder volumes and did show a statistically significant difference, with less gallbladder distension from obstructive gallstones seen, when compared to the volume present when neoplasms or strictures were the cause of obstruction. That's all for this video. Thank you.